Hi everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can track anti-click text uh, within Matomo Tag Merger. Um, it's mostly like an experimental project because I, I just um, implemented it uh, thanks to a friend of mine named Frederick Foster. Uh, so I did not uh, deploy it on many, many projects so far. Um, if you look through the GitHub uh, repository of Matomo Tag Manager, you will see that it's currently not possible to do it uh, easily. And say empty strings and trigger setup, and the fact that it doesn't work. So if if you leave it empty, what's going to happen is that um, Matomo Tag Manager uh, will reset it automatically. So the idea was, <coughs> in fact, to define. A regular expression that does not correspond to the regular expression uh, composed like this. Um, I, I can't really describe what this is, unfortunately, but um, stands like okay, there's no value over here. Um, let, let's go for it. Um, so, uh, first of all, let's start with uh, let's say basic explanation of what we would like to achieve. The idea is to track all the clicks on a given website um, in order to track all the click interactions, but uh, we would like those click interactions to be uh, talkative, so to say to be rich in order for uh, the user afterwards to be able to analyze those. So to say, based on all the elements that the people will click on, probably uh, the part which will be the most talkative to the user is the elements which are composed with a click text. So what we want is that uh, we want to have only the elements on which we clicked on, which are including a value within the click text. Okay, so to say the anchor link, for example. Uh, on the other side, uh, if we are doing such a tracking, what we may be interested in is uh, to exclude the paragraph because the paragraph may contain a lot of text uh, that you may not be interested in to push as a as an event for example which of course will kind of uh, oversize your database so that's the reason why we choose here click element do not match the css sector equal p and then click text does not match this given uh, regular expression so uh, in order to test that out let's let's go on my website so uh, we have a website over here. If I click on this paragraph, normally nothing should show up, which is the case over here. And we can double check here and see that this is a paragraph. Let's now click on, uh, the, on the image over here. Okay, So the image should not uh, show as well because this image does not contain any, any click text at all. Okay, it's just, it's just an image. Uh, if I click now over here, uh, was it, what was it? This was a P as well, so nothing's showing up. Um, now I'm going to click over here. This is, this is H3. So H3 is measured, okay, which is, uh, which is normal. Uh, because it contains a text, uh, I can, I should rather click uh, maybe over here. So this one works as well. Um, now let's uh, go over here. So here you have an H2, so H2 should be measured. <coughs> H2 is measured. Then I have a paragraph over here. I click on the paragraph, nothing is showing up. Let's click on this link. Okay, it show up, uh, which is uh, which is good. So everything seems to work so far, even if I don't have many. Um, I'm gonna click on the logo over here. Should not work. It doesn't. Okay, uh, so seems good. I'm just gonna show you that it's it can keep continuing working if I keep uh, inserting any other elements. So let's go for a not match on the <coughs> uh, CSS selector. Oops, uh, in the case we don't care. Uh, so let's imagine now that I would like to remove other part. Okay, uh, for example, other that you don't feel are really relevant, like. Uh, the h2 in my case so oops just gonna go like this and now normally if i click uh, so oh no that this part is interesting you see this one is in bold so in bold it's it's measured if i click back on the paragraph does it work if i click over here it should now it should now be um it should now be h2 h2 element should not be k 
counted and it's counted so i guess here what is happening it's maybe just a cache issue uh let's go back over here and okay so this this is interesting as you can see uh there was some cache let's go back over here i hate this cache thing uh does not match okay here i made a mistake it does not match the css selector okay the date okay let's <coughs> go back over here and so normally h2 should not work and it doesn't this should work uh, so this is the bold text i guess um, so i guess you can decide as well to remove the strong if that's something that you want so you could go over here and does not match uh, does not match the css selector which is strong okay uh, and this is the click element click element so so far it seems at least on the preview mode that it's working as expected so we can zips like this and okay so great so this work this work um, and h2 we say that would be skipped and if I click now on the link, it should work. It does. Okay, so perfect. So now I can now look on the dashboard and see uh, what is going on. <coughs> and normally, if everything works as expected, I get exactly what I want. You see, it's just picking up exactly the stuff that, that I want. And that's what uh, I wanted to show you uh, today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.